Hello, and thank you for tuning in to my Scrapbook Sunday 101, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. And we are going to get started after I just remind you of a couple of things. If you'd like to place an order with me, go to StampersDelight.com. For May, use this host code. Also, check out the apparel shop at StampersDelightShop.com, where you can find some great little gift ideas for the stamper in your life. So... Go ahead and grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. A couple of other reminders is that in the description you will see my online monthly class for June is using the Encircled in Friendship. That's the stamp set and, and dies you get with the uh, monthly class, so check that out. If you'd like to join that, sign up by June 1st. Also, the Connect, Craft, and Collect, that is a special through Stampin' Up. When your order is more than $150, you get an extra $25 in merchandise, Hostess Reward. So you definitely want to check into that. And today is Sunday, so we have one more day left for the Join Plus promotion for the starter kit. If you are on the fence about signing up to get that starter kit, now is your time. $99, you get $155 of merchandise with your business supplies for free and free shipping. Again, that ends May 31st. Great way to try stamping up out. No obligation if you don't like it. But I'd love to have you on my team, and I am here to support you in any way that I can. So we are going to get started. So for today's video, I am using the Hats Off stamp set, and that can be paid, found on page 47. And again, everything is in the description below. I just thought this was a cute little set because it coordinates with our May Paper Pumpkin Batter Up. Now, if you have one but not the other, don't worry. My ideas will work for either. Okay. Also, we are using the mini embossing machine. You're going to see me use the mini embossing and die cut machine. That is on page 153 of the annual catalog. And also the designer series paper that I'll be using today is Pattern Party on page 171. So we're going to get started. <clears throat> so the first thing I did, or I'm going to do, is bring in this 12 by 12 designer series paper. And I chose this. Let me just bring it up. This is the uh, Pattern Party. I chose this because it looked like pinstripes to me. I'm uh, also going to bring in, now this is 12 by 12, and I'm going to bring in a piece of 8.5 by 11 Night of Navy. And wait till you see these cute little pictures that I'm going to use today. I always like to find things that coordinate with what I'm trying out. And this is a picture of my son and my goddaughter back in 1988. And yes, um, the family on this side are Mets fans. It was a little hairy there because we also have Yankee fans in here in New York. <laughs> but thought this was such a cute picture. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to first layer this picture onto that 8.5 by 11 piece of Knight of Navy. Just to mat it and give it a nice background. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to mat that right in the middle. I don't think I've done a scrapbook page since I've been doing this series of a larger picture. I may have, but... And we are just going to put that in there. So I've heard from a lot of you. Uh, some of you are new scrapbookers. Some are avid scrapbookers. Been doing it for a while, but you're loving this Sunday scrapbook um, Sunday. So I am going to continue with it. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you know when I'm on and you can get the um, notifications. Also, leave me comments. Let me know, um, you know, what you like, 
what you'd like to see. I'm just gonna take this off for a second because I got it a little bit crooked and you can see I didn't quite press that stamp and seal down so that I could lift it up. Um, again, YouTube, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. A lot sooner if I can. Okay, so we're just gonna position that right there. Okay, so that's the start of it. Now, again, with the paper pumpkin in May, it came with a lot of different um, die cuts. And here you can see some of the die cuts, which I'm gonna be using. The first one I'm gonna use is this little um, banner piece. And I actually use that as my journaling piece, which I, I'm gonna put like right here. The other thing, and you will see this in a moment, this is from the Hats Off bundle, okay? And I already cut out the little baseball hat. I think I'm gonna put that up there. And again, I did it in Night of Navy. And back to the paper pumpkin for May, I have a little baseball and bat. And I'm just gonna layer those, I think, right there. Now, there's a lot of other pieces to this, and you'll see a lot of cards, or some cards made with this um, on my Monday night YouTube Live. So don't forget to stay tuned and uh, watch that, okay? All right, so I have this right here. I think I'm good with that. So I'm going to go ahead and just start gluing these down. So I'm going to place the hat there. And then I'm just going to go right on top of that. I'm just putting some adhesive on the baseball. I think I want the baseball like maybe this way. And then I have this cute little bat. Now that I think I want to have that popped up a little bit. So I am going to grab my dimensionals and I have the mini dimensionals for that. And my take your pick tool, gotta have a take your pick tool. The mini dimensionals work real great on this. They really work well on this one because it's kind of small. I'm just gonna put that one right there. Don't need too many because it is gonna go into a 12 by 12 protective page holder. Now just decide where I want it. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so isn't that cute? Okay, now this is my journaling. Remember, this was the banner from the Paper Pumpkin. If you'd like to learn more about the Paper Pumpkin, you can, again, look in the description below, and I have my link on how you can get that Paper Pumpkin sent to your house every month. Okay, this I am going to glue down also flat, so I'm using my stamp and seal. Look at that. Cute little page already done. Now, because I'm gonna do a second page, I'm gonna make it a two-page layout. Let's put move that aside for a minute. And again, I have that pinstripe-looking designer series paper from the pattern party. I've already got the, my pictures that I'm going to use. I already matted those on my Night of Navy. So this, again, is from that same day where um, I had a picture of my son taken by himself. I'm going to put that right there for now. And then I have uh, another little Mets outfit that he had. And I have pictures of him with his two grandfathers. So this is Pop Ward. That's Pop Maroney. We're going to put those right about there. Okay, so I like that layout just the way it is. And you can see that this is going to be a two-page thing because here's the, the two kids. This one goes with that. And then, of course, some more pictures of other Mets outfits that he has on. So we're just going to glue that down. I'm going to put that one straight. This one is going to go... Now, when I mat my pictures, I just trim the picture the way I want it, and then I put some cardstock behind it just to make it pop out a little bit more. And put my dad right here. Okay. 
so I have the pictures. Now, this is from our color and contour dies, and I just uh, cut one of these out for a made my own journaling card. That I'm going to put right here. But what I need to do is I have a couple of these cute little die cuts again from the paper pumpkin. I have an all-star. I'm going to use that. So this I am going to, again, use dimensionals. I'm going to grab my larger dimensionals for that. Remember, we have two size dimensionals. I'm just going to have that popped up a little bit. We're just going to put that. He's an all-star. Okay, this journaling um, card right here, I can do straight if I want, but I also like to angle them sometimes. It takes up some of the extra room there. I don't need to, you can see I wrote on the back and I didn't like the way I wrote it. That's why we have two pieces of cardstock. I am going to bring that down a little bit because I need a little extra room at the top. Okay, so now I have these two cute little dies again or cutouts but I want to make a hat now here's how I'm going to do that remember I'm using the hats off bundle and inside there you have the dies and this die is part of that bundle I'm going to take this and I am going to cut one of these out so if you've never used the die cutting machine you'll see how to use it now this is the mini one and this die does fit on the mini one we have a larger one. You can find both of those on page 153 of our annual catalog. I'm just going to run that through. I thought about taking an orange marker and putting the NY for the Mets logo, but I'm actually going to do something else with it. So that is the die that goes to this. And remember, tune in Monday night, and you're going to see some more um, things done with this. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it like this. No, let's see, where do I want this? I like the hat there. I think I'm going to do it this way. Put the baseball that way. How about that? So I can put a little um, saying here, like number one, something like that, but I really would prefer just to leave it blank right now until I decide what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down. Okay, I'm going to, oh, you know what? I might change this up a little bit. Let's take the, let's do this. And then let's see. Put that one there. Again, I am going to grab my mini dimensionals and pop this one up. I'm having so much fun doing these scrapbook pages on Sundays. Not to mention it's helping me get some scrapbooking done. I'm gonna put this one right here. Just so that I can add some more things in there if I want. So now I have these two page layouts. So here's this page. <clears throat> what I can do is I can actually, let's see, do I have, what I need right here. <clears throat> I can take a little star. Let me grab that. Okay. So here I have a little star. I'm going to bring in that die cutting machine again. And I am going to get a little piece of orange. Even though I don't have the N N Y in the orange, I'm just going to grab a piece of cardstock behind me. Just looking for my orange here, and I am going to make that look like a little bit of a Yankee. Uh, sorry, Mets. 
Okay, so I'm going to take this and I am going to cut just a small piece out of here. I just want to add something more to that. So again, I'm grabbing that, grabbing my little star, and I'm just going to run this through. This was an afterthought as I was recording this, but I think it'll add to it. I might even add a couple. So that's, there's one. And there's stamps with the hats off. So, you know, you can also stamp some sentiments or sayings, but I didn't really have one that I wanted to use for this page, except for maybe the number one. But I want to do some stars. So I'm just running this through. And grabbing some extra stars here. I could have done these ahead of time. But some people haven't used the die cutting machine. Okay, so I think I'm going to use four of them. Okay. So I got my fourth. Okay, so I'm going to bring that in. And this one's going to go right in the center here. Look at that. I think I like that just like that. The three stars, I'm gonna leave it like that. They just kind of fell into place. So I'm gonna take the first star and I am gonna put a dimensional on that, a mini dimensional. And I am gonna put that right on the cap. And then I'm gonna take these three and do the same thing. Now, I don't think it really matters which side you do these on. And I'm just going to put a dimensional on that. There. Now we have a little bit more going on on the page. And you can also add more if you'd like. But this is how easy it is to do a quick, easy scrapbook page. And this is a two-page layout. Again, here is the one. I will have still shots on my Facebook page and also on my blog. And here is the other one. And then when you look at them together, it would be like this. A two-page layout in your book. So thank you for tuning in again to Scrapbook Sunday 101. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back on Monday with some more ideas for cards on this. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep on stamping, stampers, and keep on scrapbooking. Bye.